What's going on everybody? It's your favorite dating coach Elliot Scott and as you can see by the title below we're going to talk about how to make a guy jealous and go into a little depth on how to correctly do it by putting a guy in one of these two categories. Now if you haven't yet please subscribe just click the red button below I will love you forever and ever and ever along with the bell notification and if you want to work with your surely you get my course Attraction Academy which goes into a lot more detail in the stuff I talk about in my videos. Links are down below. So before jumping into this, I want to give you what my definition of jealousy is. And it's from more of an evolutionary perspective because I think it's very important to understand why jealousy works and why jealousy is what it is. So I have it written down right here. I said, I think of jealousy as a defensive mechanism instinctively embedded in us to warn us of threats that may take our assets things that we invested in, a way which in return puts us at a disadvantage, uh, lowers our survival rating or our ability to reproduce. Now when I mean survival rating, I don't literally mean you're going to die if someone takes a woman away from you or vice versa, a man away from you. Um, but from an evolutionary perspective, we like advantages. And being with someone is very advantageous, whether it's um, good for the mind, good for the ego, sex, stress, services, um, the the resources the person gives, well, many things, okay? But that's not what's important. What's important is the two, are the two categories that I put this kind of shit in, okay? And it's ego and it's emotion. Emotion, pretty self-explanatory, guys who like you, okay? Guys who have feelings for you and it's still there and you can take advantage of it that way and vice versa. If you're a dude watching this, you can do the same thing to women. I don't recommend it. I think it's petty. I think it's I think it's more egotistical. Um, I'd rather you just leave the person, but it is what it is. And of course, the other option is ego, which means even if the guy or girl doesn't like you, you can still attack their ego because you're attacking assets or putting them at a disadvantage by taking certain things, assets, away from them. And to demonstrate this, I want to switch over and show you my screen that I use for my my live, my live chats where I'm writing because I think writing it down things are going to make a lot more sense. So we're going to go over there. Hi, I hope you like the setup. Um, I, I, I think it will be better for you all. I can get into a lot more detail on the things you probably wanted me to talk about. Um, so, let, so let me know if you all like this, okay? And what color are we going to use today? We'll probably, uh, we'll use blue. So there's there's two categories, okay? Uh, what the hell just happened? Okay, there's two categories. I'm going to say there's a middle ground, right? There's a middle ground, and you're going to see what I mean by that. And then there's emotion, and there's ego. So let me explain both of those a little bit. Emotion is if the guy likes you, the guy or girl likes you. Um, ego is if it's not so much they like you, it's what we're talking about early, earlier, it's a risk. It's a risk of losing things. So you're going to see how these things kind of unfold depending on how he feels about you. Okay, so um, well, the first thing I think to make a man jealous is other men, right? Bring other men into the picture. If it's emotion, oh man, he's going to go crazy. He's going to go crazy. He's going to go ape shit. Uh, because he really likes you and he can't have you, okay? Uh, if it's ego, it's more assets. He's losing, and we'll get into assets later. Um, he's losing assets, which he's not about. Men, no, men don't like losing assets to other men. Why? Because assets basically are advantages. Now, of course, he was taking advantage of these advantages by not, um, by not giving you the time and attention and effort that you need, but advantages, right? So he's losing them to another man, which is not a good thing. You have to think of assets as advantages. That's why they're assets, okay? Um, another thing would be a better man, okay? Let's just say there's a better man involved. You're, this guy, you're like, I'm done with your bullshit. Not only that, you're finding it. You know, sometimes a guy's like, she can't find better. She can't do better, blah, blah, blah. She'll come back. She'll be back. Okay, you bring other men into the picture, that's one thing. You bring a man that he's actually threatened by, oh man, again, over here, he's going to go fucking ape shit. He's going to go crazy. Over here, now it's a challenge. Now it's a challenge. Because sometimes, if you attack the ego, right, and the guy's losing the assets, he doesn't fear it because a lot of women, I feel like, 
cave in or go back or he, he comes around and gives you some of this tomfoolery bullshit. He tells you, uh, I'm sorry, baby, I miss you. I, I want to be with you, all that kind of, and you, and you cave. But when there's a better man involved, when you're actually dating a better man that you truly like more, not just to make him jealous, but you truly like more, now he's questioning, can I actually get her back? Okay? And again, it's an attack to the ego. Sorry if you can't read all this. I know I'm all over the place, but I ho hopefully you're keeping up with what I'm saying. Um, then another thing I think too, and this kind of just ties this all together, um, is a risk of assets, risk of losing assets. And again, I know if you can't read this on your phone, I'm sorry. Uh, again, over here just makes them sad. Boo-hoo. Over here, not good. Um, men want assets, okay? Especially... And you got when I talk about assets, like there's many different definitions of assets. Like ass, well, there's one definition. It's, it's, um, it's, it's proactive. It's it's a positive gain to, for uh, his his resources, time, energy, effort, money, and things like that, and what he's getting from it. Um, but a really good asset that a lot of women don't think about is, is how easy it is for him to obtain these assets due to the lack of um, the lack of effort that he has to put in. If he doesn't have to put in a lot of effort, he's not going to. But if he can still get the assets without putting forth the effort, oh, that's a huge plus. Like, that's a big thing. So when you're taking this away from him um, and it comes over here, that means he has to invest more, right? Invest more. He knows he has to invest more because you're like, I'm done with that bullshit. I'm done with your fucking bullshit, dude. Um, so I tell women, that's why I tell women constantly, Hey, maybe just pull away, just pull away a little bit. Just stop putting up with this bullshit. Just cut him off. Stop giving him these wins. Stop letting this guy win. And that itself will attack the ego because now he's wondering, well, what the hell just happened? Something's different. Something's up. Something's wrong. Right? So let me erase all this real fast and let me rewrite it. Um, or write more e emotion. Again, sorry if you can't read it. It's impossible to write with this damn thing. Right? So let's keep going. Uh, the unknown, the unknown, unknown. Um, and I think the reason this is really powerful, I have to rewrite that. Oh my God. I think the reason this is really powerful is because I guess on both sides, it's the unknown. The mind's going to wonder. The mind is going to wonder. He's not going to know what's up. Again, pulling away. You can make a guy jealous by that. Because when I say mind wonders, if he really likes you, it's like, who else is she talking to, right? Who else is she talking to? Does she really like me? Does she like me? Um, and then that goes off to, I guess I could have just, hold on, that goes off to um, uh, validation. He's going to start needing validation and things like that. And validation might come over here too. Validation might be an ego thing. Ego. Do, he, so he's going to ask, do I still have access to the assets, right? And then that's where he's going to need validation. Again, I know you can't read this, guys. I'm so sorry. It's impossible to write this thing and I'm writing fast while talking. But so he's going to need validation. He's going to need validation. So the unknown is very powerful. You need to throw the unknown in there, meaning when I say unknown, like, on your end, it's more of a, hey, dude, I'm fucking done, dude. Like, I'm just done. And you're not caring about the outcome, so maybe a freedom of outcome, finally. Freedom of outcome. You're just done with the bullshit. You're just done with the bullshit. You're done with the bullshit. And then he's going to come back around and want, to, and want to know if he still has access to the assets. That's why you have guys who aren't showing interest or taking you for granted. They come back around after a month or two or three. Hey, baby, I miss you. How you been? Oh, we haven't talked in a while. I know, but I've been busy, but whatever. And then this guy, if he, if he has the, if, if the unknowns on his mind, uh, he's going to start asking these questions. Is there someone else? Am I replaced? Does she still like me? What's she doing? What What's wrong with me? Right. That's, no, that's another big one. What's wrong with me? That's another huge one that guys will ask, you know, and shit like that. That's very important. A lot of women do not add the idea of surprise. The, the, the idea of surprise or the unknown, the curiosity. Curiosity really kills the, the cat when it comes to ego. Oh my God, especially when it comes to ego. Another thing is um, a guy realizing he's not the only quality option. Not only 
option. Now you will say, well, isn't that the same as the stuff you were saying about other men? Yes, but there's a difference between another man in the picture and then a girl realizing that, like, dude, you're not as special as you think you were. And again, over here, she's going to fucking kill this guy if he really likes you. Over here, this guy's going to be like, what the fuck? Like, what the fuck? So, so again, it goes back to that stuff I was saying earlier. There's a threat. There's a challenge. Okay. Like, like it's, it's almost like, it's almost like he was exposed. Think of it as exposed. Like, like his, his assets. Okay. Think of it like this. His assets aren't as good anymore. Okay. And if you truly believe this, I'm not saying fake it. You can't fake this. You can't fake this. This is just a woman who's maybe tired of a guy's bullshit or found someone better or, um, you know, you're just, done, again, you're just done with it. And you're like, dude, hey, your assets are great, but they come with a lot of liabilities, right? They come with a lot of liabilities, which is you being untrustworthy, you being uh, you being a ghoster, you being an orbiter, you being unavailable, whatever it is, um, and things like that. And when that's the case, the power dynamic, okay, power dynamic, uh, dynamic may, may, may favor you now. It may favor you, okay? Because now, guess what? It's like a negotiation. Okay, I got to erase all this again. God damn. It's, I always tell women, it's like a negotiation. Everything's a negotiation. Everything is negotiation. Everything. Everything you guys do. And it's his assets, liabilities, right? Uh, abilities. How do you spell liabilities? God damn. Versus your assets, okay? Oh, sorry. It's more than that. Liabilities. Um, but then, but it's also what you two want, what goal you have. And of course, there's a lot of resources that go into a goal. So if your goal is a relationship, okay, um, I mean, you're asking for a lot there. So, oh God, so what the hell's it, there? You're asking for a lot, so that's going to go up. Um, oh God, let me erase all that. So you're asking for a relationship. Uh, you're asking for a lot. Boom. So you got to give a lot. Okay. Or he just might want sex, attention, whatever it is. So he's not asking for a lot. And in fact, he can maybe get this from a lot of women. So you don't, whatever. But it's going to be your assets and liabilities versus his assets and liabilities. But going back to what I said, if you realize this guy's not a hot shot like he once was, well, then uh, his assets are going down the drain. Okay, and in fact, he still has these liabilities, which is why all this bullshit's happening to begin with, and you're watching my videos. So, it's not as strong. And then if you add that into the fact that uh, maybe another guy, a stronger, uh, maybe not stronger, but better, you know, cooler, whatever it is, guys in the picture. Well, now there's a threat. Okay, so that's another one we can talk about. Um, let me see. Let me see. Let me see. Uh, middle. Emotion. Again, I'm so sorry for this writing. I actually have decent writing, I swear. Ego. So another one would be um, men who, who... Validation, right? Validation. Men who can't get validation or approval. Meaning, if you want to make a guy jealous, don't give him this sometimes. Because if it's the ego, kind of self-explanatory. If it's ego, self-explanatory. The guy needs it. And, 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 and listen, if a guy doesn't want a relationship and he wants multiple women, um, I'm not saying that's a bad thing. There's nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with a guy not wanting a relationship. But there are a lot of insecure men who need a lot of yes women, a women to say yes to him, to him to, uh, or for him to just function. <laughs> Same with women. There's, I'm not just dogging on men. There's, hey, there's a lot of you motherfuckers out there who are not happy unless you're in a relationship, unfortunately. Work on yourselves. Do you. Be your own thing. Be happy. You don't need a dude. You don't need a fucking dude. And dude don't need you, right? <laughs> it's if, it's if you guys want a relationship. But I know a lot of guys who need a lot of validation from women to be happy. You know, at the same time, I know a lot of women who are focused more on the emotional aspect where um, they need a man to be happy. Uh, but whatever you want to be right here in the middle. But like I said, if it's, if it's validation approval, don't give them that shit. Don't give them, that hurts the ego. Of course it's going to hurt this guy cause he wants it. So let me kind of explain why this is. Okay. Um, and now I'm, I'm going to kind of get off topic here, but there's two types of paths to go down. Okay. I always say there's, oh well, no, actually let me put it a different way. Let me put it a better way. Um, so there's, we're going to start 
we're gonna, we're gonna call this wide and we're gonna call this focus, okay? So let's just say there's a guy here, okay? And this guy likes women. I don't care if he likes women, men, whatever. He likes women, okay? And there's a bunch of you right here. So if you look at it like this, okay? If you look at it like this, um, if that's his only thing, like, hey, I like women, well, then all you right here are part of, are part of the circle, are part of the uh, the 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 shindig. Like he, he, you're all you're all available, okay? But that's not always the case. The next, so this is the first filter. I like women. Women like me. Yay. The next one is who, women who like women who like me. Okay, because guess what? Just because there's a lot of women here don't mean you're all going to sleep with them. Why? Because you got to like him too. So out of these women, let's say it's these ones, okay? Women who like me. And then it will be, then you go down one more and it would be uh, women I, women I, uh, or who want, let me say, who want same thing as me, okay? Same thing. And so let's say there's two. Boom, 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 boom. And then let's say down one more is, uh, compatibility. Let's say it's compatibility and there's just one. Hopefully you guys can still see this. There's just one. Okay. And if, it, if the guy wants a relationship, he'll go down all this. He'll go down all this and he hyper-focus on this person. Okay. He will hyper-focus on this chick right here. That's how it goes. Okay. And that wide, that wide scope he has of all these women now it narrows down into one person. He gets a lot of his validation from that one person. So there's a difference between a guy who gets the validation from one woman saying, I love you, and a bunch of women saying yes. Okay, big difference. Now, if you're the guy who wants a relationship, or sorry, if you're the guy who wants to play the field, um, you're probably going to stop right here, if you guys can read all this. You're probably going to stop right here. And, and what, hey, I like you. You like me. Uh, maybe, maybe want the same thing. Maybe that meaning if you want the same thing in terms of casual, but guys are like, no, nah, no, nah, I'd rather just talk to women who like me um, and things like that. So that's why, basically what I'm trying to say to sum it up, this is why it's very, very important to focus on validation, approval, pacing, um, pulling away or, or going full speed ahead with the guy, learning context, which I talk about extensively in my course, because this all matters. A lot of people don't think of this kind of stuff, but it is a real thing. And of course, lastly, I would say is um, the last thing to make a man jealous. I don't even need to really write it here, but I would say it would be, um, I like you, but you like him right now this is only towards emotion really obviously that's going to go here ego it won't because you won't get this part you won't get that part you get more of a I like your assets and that will go over here um but yeah it, it, it's, it goes back to the stuff I kind of originally talked about which is challenge um a threat again jealousy remember what threat is remember right remember what jealousy is right so the, it's a th it's assets if i like you and you like him you're more likely to give him the assets um but if it's an ego thing i am losing your oh sorry i was, I was gonna go down here losing your assets to this person okay so hopefully that all made sense i know i'm all over the place here i'm sorry let me know if you like and again i know you can't read a god dang thing but that being said ladies i love you all Take care and peace.